No niin, eli, eli te sun valinnat vaikuttaa tarinaan. Captain's log, stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. Who got one hollow show? The crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. More than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy, the nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the rescue. Jara Ryder. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. Cop Copa lead. Enter Enterprise tapas noi esimerkiksi kerran Rise Rise on. Dragner rotu. Aha. Vähän myrskyä. Joo, niillä on toi pää pää. No problem. I, uh, I'm not great with flying. Huh. But these little shuttles are the worst. You don't like flying. And yet, you joined Starfleet. <laughs> There's a reason I'm not a pilot. You should try it sometime. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. So am I. Yeah. I look send him get the other. It won't be easy for Jara to step in at the eleventh hour like this. Miranda Lokanalos. If she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was accepted to the Starfleet Academy, she'll be the extra. Sitten toi oli toi Equanox oli. Eh, tutkimusalus. Tuolla pohjalla. Centaur takana. Mikään ton Equinoxen vuokan nimi oli? En, en muista kyllä. Päivä päivä. Äppärillä uupi tuupi ja kännyllä viitsi. Tuosta katsoin, että paljon raahadu. Joo. Mä vaihdoin ihan tässä näin niin pelaan ohjaimella. Tää kyllä tarvis vähän ehkä shadereita tää. Halua, haluaisin injektoida reshadeilla tähän jotain. Uh, commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck by the way. I actually did well at the academy. Oh yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintar's Five. Kobayashi Maru boy be able to boy ta. I finished in the top twenty. Uh huh. So it was simulation. Not just in my class. I I mean, all time, in the history of the academy. Really, that's quite impressive. Thank you. It was tough, but you know, I set my mind to it, and it paid off. Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. Tot tutoriale, okay. Eli tässä täytyy tämä tehdä. 
tällä zoomaa. Right triggerillä näköjään valitsee. Jara Raidek. Welcome Commander Raidek. Kopali on DNA 52. You're Jara Raidek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You, you finished in what? Like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> Now I'm really... Kupali on oikeasti hyvä muistutus, kiitos. Ilipöyttä joo. Sorry, I, I didn't realize before. I, I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. Valitettavasti tässä on toi aika, niin ei voi varmaan hirveän paljon ajatella näitä valintoja. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Commander. 75 prosenttia vasta aluksesta korjattu. Mitä ihme... Mitenköhän nää on muuten rommuttanut tää? Tuli vaan mieleen. Okei, tästä pääsee juokseen. Tulee vähän Star Trek Online mieleen, mitä mä oon myöskin pelannut siis. If I remember my briefing, Commander Ermod is a bully. So I'm looking for someone with blue skin. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm just... Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here. The Resolute is leaving from this dock. Ah, oh, you're right. Nerves must be getting to me. Thanks so much, Commander. Virtsapää tässä voi olla. Jos ollaan varakapteeni, niin kuka virtsapää me voidaan oikeasti olla? Kannattaako? Ei poliaania näkynyt. Excuse me, have you seen a bolian around here? Yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Ah, there he is. Thank you. Happy to help, Commander. I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. Replikoitua ruokaa. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydek. I'm Commander Jan Ermat, operations officer on the Resolute. Now, Peria, someone out of us here. I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. It takes more than a little turbulence to rattle me. I'm sure that's the case. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. Yeah, how everything much, I've much read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our research vessel. What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Okay. Most recently, tactical officer and chief of security on the USS Endeavor. You've done well. your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. It is a lot of pelinadet. Set our work on us. The USS Resident. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. Don't waste the one half. And she doesn't look so bad considering six months ago she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. Okay. It was an accident. The equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. Destabilized the dilithium. There was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but it was more than she could handle. 
Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. Books. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. There are some things you can't forget. Did you lose anyone close to you? Too many. Yeah. And to that I'll just say... You have big shoes to fill. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solana for quite some time. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the Captain announced you would be the new First Officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake. That he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly at first. Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. Mm. Trust is earned. And it sounds like I have my work cut out for me. But I plan on winning them over. I don't doubt that. I just figured it was better to know what you're walking into. Of course. Starfleet has assigned us a high priority... Uh, Okei, okay. eli täällä on menussa, että mitä me ollaan tehty. Jos ollaan periaatteessa posi positiivisia mun, mun tota noin niinku... Miettyjen jäseniin tosiaan niinku... Jara ja Carter, kaksi kaksi päähenkilö näköjään. Mission to the hotel. I'll let the captain brief you on board. I know he's eager to see you. Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. There's still so much to do. Wire the optical data network. Just need to burn this gunk off. Hyperspanner does almost everything, except what I need right now. Now, need to melt some corrosion, not just a plasma injector. Keskellä tota, tämmösiä minipelejä tässä. Tää on vähän ehkä helpompaa tällä näin ohjaimella. Nothing to see with Nilly. Tail me can super pitka kuin. And not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering, like now. Special, cool. 
behind the attic. So just arrived. Won't be long before we get underway. I just hope whatever Chovok called us down for, it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. Hanging upside down makes me queasy. Ah, uh, what's the matter, Nilly? Afraid of a little hard work? A little hard work? Really? A little? Six months of putting this ship back together is a lot of hard work. Yeah, and here we are. Just about ready to go. Se on varmaan aika pahti ollut räjähtänyt, jos on puoli vuotta tarvinnut rakentaa uudestaan. Looks like we got here before. Lieutenant Commander Chovak. We were just looking for you, Commander. Petty officers Ed Salar. Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. We are all hands on deck right now, which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. A point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer Edzelar on repeated occasions. Well, Commander Chovak, isn't it true that if we were almost late, it categorically means that we were not late? That is correct, Mr. Diaz. <laughs> I mean, if anything, <laughs> Edzelar and I are following the schedule. Best city, city. Yes, perhaps I should adjust the schedule accordingly. Hello, Dixia. So, I don't suppose you wanted us down here to check in before we go off duty? Equip yourselves in EV suits to work on the exterior of the hull. Oh, I need you to tune it. the structural integrity field for optimal performance. The subspace distortions and ionic interference we are experiencing are preventing the proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly, despite the storm. Hmm. The precise nature of these disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. How concerned should we be about the storm? Uh, are you worried? Vulcans do not worry. <laughs> we calculate the variables and take appropriate precautions to mitigate the risk. Right now, that entails making critical preparations, because long-range sensors show that these disturbances will be more severe at our destination, the Hotari system. You have your orders. Do not delay. Yes, Roger Commander Chobok. All hands on deck. How's cut the nano tail over the deck? What's that? All hands on deck. Virus. That's what Chovok said. You know what that means? It means this ship isn't ready to go out and the brass know it. So they're throwing every warm body at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. Consequences be damned. It all comes down to us, Nilly. We're the ones who will get it ready. I know what we can do. But this isn't just any old refit or any old relaunch. Oh, whoa. Huh. Excuse me. A lot of new faces coming on board. It's got to be tough coming as a replacement. That's for sure. They seem all right. Something that happened six months ago while they were off on another ship? Well, that's nothing to hold against them. Yeah, you're right. I guess getting a little new blood on board doesn't hurt. Hold on. Now there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey, Miranda! You weren't gonna leave without me, were you? Miranda, you're here? We thought you were staying on the Adirondack. Transfer came in at the last minute, so I figured I'd slum it on this bucket of bolts. Looks like you got her back together pretty nicely. I wasn't sure what to expect. 
<laughs> I'm gonna take the high road here. Pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> I'll take the high road. Than I am. He still owes me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Don't think I forgot. Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can rustle up that bottle and we can give you a proper welcome. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. Koska viimeksi avaruuskävely on tehty. Here, let me help you. Thanks. So what's the word? Are you back in the security rotation? Yep. Still running with the usual suspects. Whoa. Good to go. Oliks first kontaktissa. Ne taas on about tän näkö siellä avaruuspuut. See you on the other side. Activating magnetic souls. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know much about Kobliads. But my understanding is you need a steady supply of Doridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. Then we have plenty of Doridium in sickbay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. Feel free to make yourself at home. And help yourself to whatever you like from the replicator. Is that muuten lähtenyt edellisestä? I can't believe he keeps this around. Don't even know where mine is. The first mineral Captain Solano ever Yodi. discovered. Always was the nostalgic type. Sitä ilmeisesti tuntee sen kapteenin kuitenkin, että... Tässä ei ole hotspottia. Can't wait to plot a course myself. Hmm. Just a sip of something. Rack the Gino. Mikä tuo alkoholi? Juoma. <laughs> That sure has a kick. <laughs> Jara Rydek. Keep up the Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the academy. You already one of the most prestigious assignments possible. And you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrot Expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. The regret is that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship 
deserves a bit of fanfare. But, unfortunately, we've had our hands full with the refit. That would be totally unnecessary. I don't need any pomp and circumstance. You've been here all of five minutes, and already you're trying to make us more efficient. I like it. As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage, but not nearly as much as the crew. You'll have to forgive me. I don't really know the details. Starfleet has been kind enough to keep the story contained. Probably because they want to protect it. But I don't mind telling you. We were on the of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. What would have been the crowning achievement of my career? Right there. Within our grasp. <sighs> Till it all went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard, and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system, creating a pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. It was heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. Yeah. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. It was my decision to make. And I have to live with the consequences. You have to look to the future. You can't dwell on the past. On things you can't change. There's nothing that can be done about it now. In my defense, I will say, I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been uh -huh. willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO. And I, I think that cost me his confidence. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. Uh-oh. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. That I thought Anything short of that just won't work. And that's when things start to go sideways. Whether I agree or disagree, I can promise that I'll be honest to a fault. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But at the end of the day, it has to be my call. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Or at least, I can't. Uh -huh. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. Uh -huh. We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission. I see it as a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of, but also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. This ionic storm. Our long-range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen hey, before. Bye. And you'll never guess where it leads. Hatari. Exactly. Very nearly in the precise location where we're headed. Where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater. But the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous. So basically, we're being sent into the eye of a storm more powerful than anything on record. Well, yes. But we're taking every precaution. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that, for me, will be the ultimate measure of your success. What is it? If, after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. Huh. When that might happen is entirely up to you. But it goes without saying. You have my full support. It's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. So I would be honored to become a captain someday. As long as you're willing to do the work, you have my promise. I'll do everything in my power to see that it happens. 
Thank you. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. Starbreakissa. Nämä uvet sihahtavat kiehtovalla tavalla. Ja nykyään näissä peleissä nämä komentosillat on näin hervottavan kokoisia. Everyone, if I could have your attention for a moment. I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Raiden, our new first officer. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman. One of the best in the business. One of? Well, what he lacks in humility, he more than makes up for in ability. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Likewise. Next, we have Commander Westbrook, our Chief Science Officer. I've come to rely on his expert counsel on a regular basis. Pleasure. Commander Rydak, it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian. We've been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. I've been following your career for quite some time. Funny to And I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. If anything, the honor is mine. Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliad. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. So, you've been something of an inspiration to me. Not that I've done anything close to what you've done, but you definitely set a standard to strive for. You really do know a thing or two about me. I'm glad I could inspire you, but it's important to chart your own path. Thanks. You can count on it. And then, of course, you've already met Commander Ermont. Please do everything you can to make Commander Rydek feel at home here. I'll be on the Starbase. Have an urgent meeting with the Starbase commander to get our authorization to get underway. If they drag their feet any longer, we won't make our rendezvous. The bridge is yours. Operations. Staffing, supplies. There's a lot to keep track of on a starship. Good thing we have Commander Ermont. Tactical station. Hopefully a diplomatic mission will require that we use our weapons much. But if it comes to that, we'll be ready. Science station. The Resolute is a science vessel, primarily. Might explain Commander Westbrook's attitude. I'll have to speak with him later. The Helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. Can't wait to see what she can do. Tähän alun perin noita Kitbash-aluksia, eli ne on pistetty pienoismalleista kasaan niinku telkkaria varten. Deep Space Nineissa muistaakseni nyt Centauri näkyy ensimmäisen kerran. Taktinen holo. Tactical holo dais. Just like they've got on the Excelsior. Aaaa. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. We just need your go-ahead. Permission granted. Lowering structural integrity field now. Entering maintenance mode. Condition blue. 